Welcome to this tutorial covering the basics of helicopter flight in MSFS. We're using the default G2 heli that ships with Sim Update 11. In this video, to make it easy to understand, I'll use the names of physical controls you're likely to have in front of you. Throttle, stick and rudder. My helicopter flight assist options are set to default and I haven't made any bespoke control assignments for helicopters, so this should be easy to follow if you've just installed Sim Update 11. In a helicopter, at a basic level, altitude is controlled by throttle. We increase the throttle to 4 and the helicopter takes off. As you can see here, I reduce throttle to 70% when I'm satisfied with the altitude to maintain it. Just as in an airplane, turns are a product of stick and rudder inputs, although the rudder axis has much more influence in a helicopter. Here I'm balancing stick and rudder inputs to turn to the left and returning to centre when I'm on my desired heading. Forward momentum in helicopters is controlled by pitch. We pitch forward and begin to travel in that direction. I also increase throttle in proportion to pitch to maintain altitude while pitching forward. If we look down at the water, we can see the waves moving to the left as the wind is blowing in that direction. This also affects the helicopter. Using the stick, we counter this by tilting the helicopter to the right into the wind. Let's watch this short flight across Tokyo Bay so you can see these principles in action and I'll see you again when we're ready to decelerate and descend. Request flight following. Alpha Sierra X-ray Golf Sierra Tokyo approach. Squawk 4627. Squawk 4627 X-ray Golf Sierra. Our landing target is now coming into view. It's an empty concrete square just behind the Venus Fort parking structure. We'll maintain airspeed for now and start to turn towards our target. I'm decreasing the throttle slightly to decrease our altitude just a little. As we arrive near our landing zone, we reduce the forward pitch to slow our airspeed. We also decrease the throttle, initially to maintain our altitude, as without forward pitch, maintaining the throttle position will cause us to ascend. With our forward airspeed now close to zero, our reduced throttle causes us to start descending. From here, it's a matter of modulating the throttle and pitch to keep our airspeed low, our descent rate controllable, and our position over the landing zone. We're now pretty close to the ground, so we increase throttle again to slow our descent. The helicopter will naturally start to drift backwards during landing, so once again we manage forward pitch and throttle for a controlled descent. This will take a fair amount of getting used to and practice, as a perfect hover it is very difficult to achieve. However, you should be able to make an acceptable, if firm and bouncy, landing in your first few flights, as long as you stay ahead of the aircraft. I hope you found this intro to helicopters useful and that your landings become smoother than mine. Take care and I'll see you next time.